All right, boom, we're live. Hey, what's up, guys? Xbox All on China host Sega Forever. I know I'm doing two videos in one day, and my last video was pretty long. Um, but this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, this is a brand new format on the channel. It's called All in One, and these videos are going to showcase just uh, specific personalities within our uh, Xbox community, mostly the guys, uh, guys and gals we hang out with, and uh, get their perspective. A lot of times when I do my hangout, as you guys know, the Wrecking Crew podcast can last for like a <laughs> to 10 to 12 hours. It's just a bunch of us kind of shooting the breeze, and there's so many people that come in. Um, but what this podcast, man, is just going to be me one on one with one of the members of the crew, get the perspective on what's going on um, in gaming, uh, probably specifically Xbox, but we're going to cover the entire gamut of gaming because that's pretty much uh, how the crew that, I, that I, at least I roll with uh, on social media and on YouTube, that's how we are. Dude. We can speak about a lot of different things. Um, but yeah, welcome to the show, Sega Man. Man, shout, shout yourself out. Hey, brother Sega Forever. It's good to do this uh, this podcast with you, man. On this uh, good weekend, you know, uh, you know, my guy, you guys know me as Sega Man One Hundred and One with my brother again, Sega Forever, man. Uh, you know, we have great podcasts that we do with Unlimited and Brother Sega Forever, myself, E Bot. You know, when we can with E Rock and you know Dea, you know our first lady of Xbox, you know Other Zinc, everybody. You know, it's good to be here with my brother, uh, Sega Forever Man, my Hawaiian brother. Aloha. Uh, saying hello to everybody. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. Yeah, you know what, brother Sega Forever, I like doing these. I'm so glad that we do more of these now because back then we couldn't do them as much. So I'm glad that we do do these, uh, these podcasts, man. And uh, yeah, I hope we can get into some really good uh, talk tonight about, you know, and yes, it's going to be about Sony. Things that are going on with Sony and and uh, just you know talking some gaming, man. You know, so yeah, I can't wait to hear your perspective on things that's been going on lately with the uh, so-called PlayStation Five Pro. Um, you know, oh, we're gonna also talk about Brother Sega Forever. Why the pony ponies are so upset too, and we'll get into that later on. And I think you might know what I'm gonna hint hint on what I'm talking about. But we're going to get into that, too, why they're upset and bothering us. And going back to saying Xbox got no games. Phil Spencer said this. Phil Spencer said that. We're getting your exclusives. Like, they're going really crazy. And I, I think one of the reasons why I'm going to uh, ex it, it tell in the show, brother. So, yeah, it's good to be here with you, man. Well, yeah, dude, no worries, man. I'm glad to have you. Like I said, you know, um, we're probably the two quietest members, right, of the crew, I would say. But, uh, <laughs> But I've been uh, I've been passionate about a lot of stuff, man. Doing more things, and I try yeah. to put more content on there, dude. And and this is like I said, this is one of the things I like to do because when we're one on one like this, um, we can basically like like I'm basically just wanting to hear your thoughts mostly, right? Yeah. And yeah, I'm, yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna be honest, dude. You're <laughs> telling me stuff. We were in the uh, quote unquote green room, for lack of a better word, talking, and um, you know, I kind of fell off the block like midweek, man. I'm talking gaming in general. I, I didn't get a chance to game. And if you have Game Pass, man, you know there's a, there's some hard hitting games that that dropped um, games that I've been wanting to play, and I haven't been able to do anything. So I, you know, you're gonna educate me uh, on some of this stuff as well, man, because I've been I've been out of that loop. Um, well, for before we get into things, what have you been? What have, what actually have you been playing? Um, just the usual, do Tales of Arise, um, that Warhammer Doom, uh, what is it called, Vulcan? Yeah. Um, Call oh, nice. Surprisingly. Um, just nice. because uh, they, they dropped some new maps and got some new moves that, that I was addicted to, man. I was, I was surprised. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we played. Uh, those are the three main ones. Tales of Arise, if I'm being honest, dude, it's sucking up most of my time. And 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 the thing, and I'm not saying this is bad, but the thing of Tales of Arise is, I feel like I'm playing an anime, and you know, I, you know, I'm a huge fan of anime. Yeah, yeah. And so it's very. There's a lot of cutscenes and a lot of story. So, oh, really? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so, and then I'm the type of person, like, I want to watch every single thing. So I probably would have beat the game by now, which is a simple fact that there's so much, you know, so much video. Um, yeah. Uh, it's, and so to get the entire story, I, I want to see every single thing. Then there's a leveling up component. There, there, there's also, a, a, a what they call that, an online purchasing component, which I find interesting, right? It, it's not full bore. Like what some people get upset about, and it, and it does leave the choice in your hands, you know. And it has to. And for a person like me, I I, I actually bought a couple of things, 
just because it helps me fill out the actual um, fantasy of watching an anime. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so I don't know how long it's been. <clears throat> I think I like. I think I got two more bosses, but then they they just released DLC. So I could see myself playing this for at least two more months if I don't. Oh, fall. nice. That's cool. What about what's you? What's up? Uh, what's up? Uh, uh, what's up, Cloud Gamer seventy four? Yeah, what's How's up, Cloud Gamer? Welcome to well, the brother, show. Well, uh, brother. <clears throat> I've been playing. Well, actually, brother, Sega forever. I've been playing. I'm really happy for, and and glad that I have Ultimate Game Pass because I've been playing Evil West. Yeah, yeah, that just dropped the other day, right? Yeah, that's in Game Pass now. And also that dropped in there was, was the uh, the Quarry with Ooh, the uh, right. Yeah, that dropped in there too. I downloaded both of those, so we've been getting some great games lately in the into uh ultimate game pass and i gotta tell you this i i actually <laughs> phil spencer was on yesterday was it yesterday yeah i think it was yeah i think it was yesterday he was on and i seen him on playing that new dogma or whatever game that new uh dragon's dogma too yeah and i said to him i just i just wanted to see if he would answer i said i said um hey phil there's been some great games uh, some really great games coming into Ultimate Game Pass, and he actually he actually messaged me back. And he said, "Yeah, I think so, also." Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes he'll message me if I if I uh, message. He doesn't do it all the time, but there is times where he does text me back, man. He messaged yeah. me back, and I was, it was cool to hear from Phil Spencer, man. Yeah, you know, he's, he's, you know, he's engaged. He's tuned in. You yeah, know, what's going on? You know what I'm saying. And that's yeah. the thing. And the thing about that too, brother Sega Forever, is he's a he's a true he's a real gamer. He's a true gamer. Now, as far as the other companies, um, they don't do that. They don't. You know, you're not going to message somebody from Sony and they're going to answer you. It's just not going to happen. But Phil Spencer actually interacts with with everybody, and he's head of, uh, you know, he's head of um, Xbox. And uh, you know it's it's great, man. It was great to it was great to uh, hear from him. You know, it was really good to uh, good to hear from him, man. I was like, wow, this is cool. You know, and uh, I just been happy. I've been re very happy about that. Yeah, that's right, man. I, I'm I'm on the move, brother. <laughs> uh, uh, limited Productions, man. I'm 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 out there and put I'm I'm out there doing these podcasts, man. I'm. Bleed green all the way, brother. Bleed green all the way, man. You know, <laughs> back to back, brother. Back to back, man. You know, That's yeah, we had a great, man. yeah, we had a great show, Sega Forever, with my brother, Unlimited Productions. He's gonna, you know, he's gonna get back on track. But like, like we say, everybody's everybody's busy, man. You know, yeah. everybody's busy, and it's hard. It's hard to do podcasts. You know, it's it's hard to do podcasts right now because people working and different things like that. So. You know, um, I'm, it's glad to be here, and I wanted to get your opinion about something that's really been big right now. That's been been going through social media. Maybe Unlimited Production can uh, say something if he wants to too. About uh, what about the Call of Duty Mobile? What do you think about that, Sega Forever? Yeah, so I saw some. Uh, there's a person. I guess he's a. You know, I'm I'm not that hardcore car, Call of Duty like I used to be. You know, it's kind of yeah. the game. The, the the franchise has moved on. On a level where you know I'm not that involved, I'm that tuned in. But yeah. there's some dude that that um, said something, and then this web Call of Duty website put out like, I guess this guy is the man or whatever. But he's like, yeah, this is the best Call of Duty game ever. When he, and he's talking about mobile, the mobile Call of Duty game. And I was like, oh wow, okay, well that's good for Microsoft. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and um, that's their start. Remember how they said they wanted to reach so many gamers? And the only way they're going to do that, well, part of the way they're going to do that, yeah. is through mobile. And Call of Duty is the entry form of them reaching all them players that they want to reach in the mobile space. Call of Duty is, which I think was a bright, a really good, smart idea, is with Call of Duty Mobile. I think that's going to kick everything off, and I think they're going to meet their goal for what they want to do. I really believe Microsoft is going to do it. it might take some time. But I believe Microsoft's going to be able to do that, uh, um, Sega Forever. I think they're going to be able to reach their goal and what they want to do. 
Yeah, I when think got- people tend to, with all the drama that goes on and how people focus, especially in the Xbox community, right, these guys yeah. are going to be able to realize what, what um, the type of pull is, or, you know, why Microsoft bought AKB in the first place. And it's going to, once it starts kicking off, dude, it, it's, it's going it's to it's gonna be unstoppable. I think so. I think so, man. I think so. And, um, oh, and uh, another thing, man, um, you know, it's a shame. Now, you know, this is how you know Sony's also going to be in some trouble. Chime in if you want Cloud Gamer 74 and what we're talking about in Brother Unlimited is uh, uh, we just talked about on Brother Unlimited show about the they have to Sony has to now uh, rethink at PSVR 2. Mm, yeah. They're holding that back now. They're holding that back now because let's just face it. V- VR is really, it's not, it's not there. Phil Spencer was right. And we talked about this on, on uh, unlimited uh, sh- uh, show. It's just not there right now. It's not, it's not there. You know what I mean? And Phil Spencer was right about that. It's not there, man. You know, it's just, there's not enough people that bought it. There's not enough people that support it. If you really want to get into VR, listen to a true gamer like myself and Sega Forever. If you really want to get into VR and experience VR gaming experience or entertainment, buy an Oculus Rift, a real VR peripheral that really caters to just and focuses on VR. If you want a good experience, you're going to go with an Oculus Rift. They're more experienced than that. And they're going to be better at, at producing software for the v, the VR headset. So if I was to get into VR, brother Sega uh, forever, I'm going to get an, an Oculus Rift. My son has a VR. He doesn't play it much anymore, but he has VR, and he and he got an and it was and it's an Oculus. So that's my opinion. Gone with Sony uh, to get a VR. No, it's just no, it's just not there for came for, for the gaming space and consoles, guys. It's not there. Phil Spencer was right. It's just not there. You know, go into if you want to get something, get a get a Oculus Rift. If you really want to get into VR, don't go out and buy a place. And then I heard that, um, you know, it's it was going to be expensive. That stuff is very expensive yeah, because they can't even get a, the VR they have now. Brother Sega Forever, they can't. It's not moving. It's not selling. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's not selling. That's why they're not bringing it out because it's not selling. Then you got the PS4 Pro, PS5 Pro with a little bit mo that they <laughs> want to bring out. You know? Yep, yep. And how are you going to do that? How are you going to do that, say, let's say forever with VR2 and a new PlayStation 5 Pro? Come on, man. That's too much hardware and a lot of money going out of the door for Sony. I mean, they're just, I don't know brother you can maybe give me your opinion i mean they're they're everywhere they're like all over the place with what they're doing brother sega forever i think they're panicking i think they're panic i think they're in panic mode and they're trying to do anything to try to get back on board they they already lost the battle xbox is number 1 right now it it is yeah, I think they can uh, be in denial all they want, brother Sega Forever. It, mm-hmm. The Xbox is number one. Oh, yeah, I agree. I agree 100%. <clears throat> you know, I think they had this roadmap, and you know, it's just it's kind of too late to to turn it around. You know, they, they they picked and choose. Sony basically picked and choose what they wanted to do. And, yeah. You know, once you do that, man, you know their game plan. They just they just got caught with their past time. And and, and and for all of you guys who are old like us and understand what Sony. A company that Sony is, this is basically classic Sony. Yeah. What they do. You know what I'm saying? This is and then this is why me and Sega Man were talking about this earlier, dude. Sony, they should have gone years ago. They should not yeah. have been in the industry. <clears throat> yeah. And, and it, it amazes me like how how much they've been propped up to last this long. And uh you know, now now Microsoft is just moving forward as they should. Um, yeah. And start because if they don't, man, the, the gaming industry, like I see all the time, is going to get stale underneath the Sony leadership. So, or supposed yeah. Sony leadership. Right? Yeah. So, real quick, let me read this Cloud Gamer. I think Phil's in a hard place because I think Bethesda wants to go multi black. Um, yeah, Cloud Gamer. I, I, I think, but I think, um, yeah, Bethesda might want to, but I don't, I don't think they are. I, I still, I still believe, um, 
what Phil said. I don't think we're going to see Indiana Jones or any other of those type of games on multiple consoles. Um, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but that's my. I'll go with what the man says. Um, but yeah, I know. I know it's been hard for him because of all, all the stuff people be tweeting at him on social media, you know, and all that kind of drama. Uh, but but yeah. case in point to what Sega Man said earlier, dude, you've seen a lot of these Xbox guys saying that we need VR, and you know, 2024, and look, it's been an absolute failure. And like Sega Man said, Phil Spencer said that. And this is the problem I have with a lot of people in our Xbox community, man. They really show their ass multiple times uh, with, with stupid statements like this, right? When when anybody can tell it's a niche market, right? Yeah. Now, granted, I'm granted nobody's Nostradamus, you know, unless you're an econ- economic whiz to, to think, to see how bad the economy would get, which which adds to all this stuff. But at the end of the day, he made the right call, man. And, and, and nobody, nobody will apologize. Everybody that was calling him all, every kind of name, all this kind of stuff, and nobody ever apologizes to Phil when they're wrong. And this is why I don't rock out with these with, with these supposed Xbox guys. And um, I, you know what, brother Sega Forever, I think uh, I think our, our brother, you know, Cloud, um, I think he has a point, you know what I mean? But I mean, and I'm I'm gonna have to agree with you. I just don't think that you know Phil Spencer. Oh well, Bethesda and Microsoft to spend all that money to go multi-plat because what's the use of them going multi-plat? Because to be honest with you, people that play on PlayStation they do not buy Bethesda games like that. They don't play Doom like that. They don't play um, the games that they brought out like um, Doom and um, what's the other one, uh, Wolfenstein and, and different games like that. Most of them. You know, most of them, they're uh, freaking, um, you know, anime, a lot of anime players and like a lot of anime from Japan, anime games and different things like that, man. They just, I just would think it would be a waste of time to do that because they don't support those games like that. Because remember before they bought Bethesda Zenimax, you remember the games were on uh, the other, the other console and um, they did not buy and play them as much as we did on xbox no, no. um they didn't you never heard them really talk about it back then all they kept talking about back then was what god of war the last of us spider-man uncharted different things like that i've never heard a playstation a fan of playstation talk about doom talk about dishonor talk about uh the games that uh, fall out, the games that Bethesda's produced and brought out. I always heard Xbox guys talk about it. I've never heard them ever talk about it. So I think it'd be a waste of time for them to do that because they're not going to support the games and they're not going to buy them. Because of one reason, too, because Microsoft owns them and they know that we're going to get money out of them by them purchasing and uh, and buying those games. Because we are. We're going to get money back that comes back to us for more games. I just don't believe it. Yeah, you know? Basically, basically, well, he bought said, oh, it's like that. <laughs> yeah. And we're getting scoldings from he bought. Yeah, I saw the <laughs> video where he was uh, saying, yeah, look, brother, I mean, I was, I'm, I'm just throwing this stuff together. And then, um, <laughs> so, it's nothing, it's nothing um, like, I was planning to do a big thing this morning, but when I, I just, I basically didn't come get get to the podcast this morning at the right time. Plus, I wanted the, the podcast I did this morning specifically. Um, I wanted to lay out kind of what the format was, so that's why it was good that I just did it solo. Because yeah. I know some people won't want to either listen to the podcast or some people won't want to participate in the podcast because I'm going down a rabbit hole that some people are uncomfortable with with this stuff. Yeah, so I'm yeah. gonna set that apart. I was actually thinking of doing a separate channel for it, um, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, Were you gonna do a separate channel? Yeah, because it's uh, people don't like politics, dude. So you know, when I talked about stuff like on the podcast, I talked about this morning, dude. I See me, of- I can me and you. I think me and you and he bought. To be honest with you, I think me, me and you and he bought can do do that. Do a, we would do it with you. I know he bought would, and I I I would definitely uh, I would definitely do that with you because I like to talk about. I like gaming. Don't get me wrong. It's my 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 shtick. Right. But um, I can talk about that politics too. You know what I mean? There, you know, well, nothing wrong like, with that. I don't like our crew of people because, like, I don't agree. Like, there's people I follow, but I don't agree with them all the time as well. You know, 
So it's going to yeah. be a podcast where people can share their opinion. Like this this morning, man, I talked a little bit about the whole lock situation with Halo. And, yeah. You know, I, 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 the channel, this channel, like I've been talking about DEI, I, I'm not a proponent of that, but I'm also not a proponent of a false flag. You know what I mean? Like lock, there was nothing racial about lock at all. Yeah. You know, he, yeah. he, he, he was a creative character. He was a well-made character. He fits right. in the little universe. You know, it wasn't like a, some, you know, like how people, a diversity hire or stuff like that. Or if it was, if it, say it was, say, say that was the intention of the writer. He did such a good job with the character that you didn't even pick up on it. You know what I mean? If yeah. you're a Halo fan, right? and then, and the biggest problem I had, which really ticked me off because a lot of these guys are complaining Master Chief wasn't in it. And like I said in the video, his footprint was in every aspect of that game. You know, he just, you just didn't play with them all the time, but that whole story revolved around him. So anyway, that, that, that's, that's why I kind of wanted to put the video out the way I did, because I want people to understand what they're going to be in for. Yeah. But, you know, cause there's guys in the Xbox on the Xbox side that I follow hardcore uh, Xbox guys, but I know that politically we do not align at all, but I don't care, dude. I'm like, okay, you bleed green and at least you honest, as long as you're honest, dude, like if you're consistent, then I'm fine. Yeah. I can deal with that, you know, but like, you know, especially on the Xbox side, dude, when you wish you wash it and you flip flop all the time, then no, I'm done. I'm like, I, I can't hang with you. You know what I'm saying? So. That, that's the thing. It's another thing. And he bought even says this, you know, when he bought gives his opinion about things with politics and stuff, yeah. people can't, they can't stand, stand it. They think he's a certain type of way and he's not, you know what I mean? You have to, you have to take other people's opinions in, in account when they when they have their opinions about whatever it is about lock about politics whatever you know and automatically he bought this bad guy because he agrees with something that they might not agree with you know what i mean so and it, and, that, and that's ridiculous to feel that way because he's a he's a you know he bought a really he's a genuine dude and uh i always listen to him when we talk about politics when we talk about life different things like that because the guy the the, the the gentleman he bought he's very intelligent he really is he knows a lot about a lot of stuff not just gaming he's he's very smart he knows what he's talking about so you know people gotta you know <clears throat> take him in and in, in respective about what he bought has to say man you know what i mean everybody has their opinions we don't have to all agree on everything but have some respect you know, for the man and his opinion. That's what it's all about, Brother Sega Forever, you know? And I think that's something that's wrong, you know, with the gaming industry in general, or just gamers in general. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and, yeah. and that's, it's killing me. It's killing. It's killing this, it's, it's killing this uh, industry, if I'm being honest, right? You know? Oh, people, yeah. People have their biases and stuff like that, but you can't check it at the door. Like, I, I make it well known on my channel. I am not a PlayStation guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? um, yeah. And, and honestly, yeah. I don't care. I really don't care. There's a generalization of video, video game in, of the video game industry that we can touch on. Everybody can. You know, that's not off limits to me. I don't think it should yeah. be off limits to anybody, right? And stuff like that. But when you get into like, <clears throat> you know, like the fan, like these, 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 like, look at, I just got into you, man. The Sony guys, dude. They have yeah. so much stuff going on with their own company that even we hear about, right? Because yeah. we have a pulse on what goes on in the industry. Um, but these guys totally ignore or are oblivious to, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and that's a real problem for them, right? And and, and again, dude, I, like I said, I have no, I really have no love for Sony and their system or anything like that. So if they went away, you know, I'm not going to cry. Um, yeah. But I definitely will we sit there and watch these dudes lose their minds and it's all their fault. Like you said, you know, these guys, you know, they're too busy worrying about other people and other stuff and all these other things going around. But instead of worrying about their own company, which I think is exactly, true. exactly, exactly. That's what they do. Yeah. That's what they do. And this is why where Sony is is at where they're out at right now. Because when that when that first hit, you know, in the olden days of the old Xbox One, you know, and Sony doing that okie doke, <clears throat> it just took off from there. And that's all they ever focused on. They never focused on what Sony was doing to them with all these remakes, these games. And that's and Sony knew this too, because Sony knew they know what's going on here in gaming media. They see what the trolls are doing <clears throat> for um, <clears throat> for Sony PlayStation, mm -hmm. and they just ignored everything. They ignored everything. Sony kept doing what they what they're good at, which is giving you shit, regurgitating it over and over again, making you pay over and over again. Just like Nintendo, Sega, uh, uh, Sega Forever, the the new Switch that's coming out, 
is not backward compatibility. It's yeah. not back and pat. So switch owners are going to be screwed. You do get to carry your digital games over that's on your original switch now. Yes, you do. But it's not a back and pat. It's not back and pat. Everything's going to be new. I heard, I'm hearing the, the cartridges are going to be different. So you cannot play your old switch cartridge games Aww. in the new switch. That's ridiculous. That's that's ridiculous. And I don't think it's gonna sell at first. I really don't. A lot yeah. of people I talk to switch got people, like a lot of girls that like I tell you I go to that shop. Yeah. They all have switches and they all told me, the girls, they all told me they're not they're very upset with that. They said they're not gonna they don't think they're gonna buy the new switch. They're just gonna keep playing the old one. Dude, I wonder I wonder how much this thing is gonna cost. Ah, man, I think I think it's gonna be Five hundred, really? Oh, four, wow. four, maybe, maybe. I'll say, okay, I'll say, I'll say four hundred. Okay. Four hundred. I don't think it's going to be cheaper than that Sega. If it does Sega Forever, then that that that's that's good. But I don't see it being. I see. I see it being four hundred dollars, man. I see it I being. Think, I definitely don't think it'll be the same price or cheaper, just for the simple fact of of how much things cost nowadays. You know? Yeah. 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 So like we all yeah, brother. Here, so we all know. <laughs> so, yeah. So I know it's got to be more expensive, but man, five hundred dollars. You know what, dude? Five hundred. I I would actually. I'm not saying I agree with it, but I'd have a yeah. different. I, I I don't know. What do you music. think? What do you think, though? What do you I, think? You think it'd be three ninety nine? I I hope it doesn't go higher than that, but I don't know, man. These guys be feeling themselves, dude. Sometimes you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 They, they, they're going for the because they haven't had a the switch has been around for quite a while so yeah so i don't know we'll see we'll see what nintendo does man and we'll see if everybody still loves them after that if they go but, five but, hours, <laughs> yeah, many people still love, love nintendo but that that new that new playstation though we were saying on unlimited's channel that thing might be six hundred dollars really yeah it might be now we're speculating but that thing might be six hundred dollars brother I could that PS5 I, Pro. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me, dude. Like I said, everything is expensive. You know, I say everything is marked up now. So yeah. So imagine in uh, some of these foreign countries where it's ridiculous now. You know what I mean? You know how they have to mark up the price, dude. I could just imagine like Canada, and <clears throat> places in South America, and all these other places that you know they, they have all these big markets. They have like their their PlayStation in every market. And I'm like, okay, yeah, we'll see how that does. Because I don't see how they could eat any of that cost. And I don't think they will, dude. Sony is the type of company that was like, look, this is our stuff, and they just drop it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, that's why yeah. Sony, I wish, I mean, Xbox would just kind of have a little bit more pride in what they do. I understand that they look at it across the board, but still. You know, I'm not saying that yeah. I want a $600 Xbox, but what I am saying is just like, you know, just, just react accordingly. You know, that would be my advice to, to the Microsoft team. Another thing, brother. With the day's economy mm -hmm. and and how stuff is bad right now, like you can't even afford to buy eggs and gas for your car. Yeah. And they want to continue making these prices high for these games and these systems. That might be a little bit of a downfall, bro. I mean, because I mean, people are not going to be able to go out there and buy. They can't keep up. Look, we already we still got the Series X that we didn't crack the power of. Yeah. And they're going to be making another one already. It's already probably being made. I think that's maybe it's supposed to come out in 2026 or something like that, maybe. But yeah. I mean, we haven't even cracked the power of these ones we have now. I mean, we haven't. We have not seen what the Series X can do. We haven't. We haven't. You're going to see a little bit what Hellblade Sin with Saga, I believe, yeah. what I think the, it can do. But, brother. We haven't seen the full potential and power of the Series X yet, and S. We haven't. That's why I think people are holding on for when the studio games start coming out. Right? Yeah. And yeah. I don't know that. You know, I, I feel good, man, because it seems like Microsoft's or Xbox is not in a rush, right? I don't and, think they are. Yeah, and I don't want them to overreact. I definitely don't want them to over calculate. I was talking about. I was talking about that this morning in my podcast. You know, I was just like, look. Um, I just want them, I don't want them to, I would want them to make consoles just because this stuff's going to swing. If the economy gets better, this stuff all swings back, right? 
um, yeah, and, and, you know, like like how they kind of of course correct it with the chips and stuff like that. They they kind of saw yeah. that, and they because you need to meet the you need to meet meet the consumer where where they're at. And I think for Xbox right now, that's their focus. And I have no problem mm-hmm. with that because and because at the end of the day, we're getting what we want from them yeah. as far as gaming is concerned, right? And services, actually everything. Just four games aside, dude, everything is has been crystal. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. With, with Xbox, dude. it's just that we got to deal with all the drama of it, right? Um, just real quick, well, so Cat Gamer, you've been playing Quarry. Uh, yeah, let us know what you think, dude. That's that's a game I know my daughter wants to play it. Um, she's gonna download it and play it. I didn't it's know in Game that, Pass. Yeah, it's in Game Pass. I yep. didn't know, Sega Man, that um, you could actually play with other people as part of yeah. the story. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. So that's an interesting, um, that's an interesting premise, you know. It's, it's oh, like brother, say it forever. We will play Dead Island together, brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can hook it up, dude. We can hook it up, yeah. This is this but week I, was a curveball for me, man. Oh, I hear you. But brother, sake of forever, I think it's a mistake. I really be- believe that is it a mistake what Sony is doing with this PS5 Pro. I just think that's a mistake, man. I mean, I don't yeah. think it's gonna move. I really don't. It's not gonna yeah. move. You know what they say? You can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's their go-to, man. The console. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Yeah, that's all they got now. Which I think like it was a big saying, mistake. Yeah, but like you were saying earlier, which is kind of ironic because uh, they're telling us we don't have games. <laughs> and all they have yeah. Is a, is a refresh. That's sad. No. And you're really going to go out, right, and buy that thing that's supposed to be more powerful and not have no games to utilize or buy and show the proof of, you know, what it can do. Because they're not, they don't have no games until... Late twenty twenty five, I guess, or twenty. I don't know, but it's it's a su- it's 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 <laughs> it's suicide, man, for that to happen. That's I just how- think they're making a big mistake. When does it come out? I don't know when the uh, the pro comes out. I'm not sure. Because that's why you've been hearing these these guys kind of cover fire that that's why um, they're coming out of the pro because of um, games like Starfield and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. That's what you hear the same, right? I'm like, mm-hmm. uh, Unlimited said, I'm playing Tales of Arise, Suicide Squad, and started Dragon's Dogma 2. Oh, let me know how Dragon Dogma 2 is, man. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing different types of uh, thoughts on the, on the game. Different types of reviews. Some people don't like it, some people like it. So we got Unlimited um, playing it, so. Yeah, that's what Phil Spencer's playing. Yeah, that's the funny thing, dude. These guys send Phil, uh, Phil Spencer kind of these hate messages. And yeah, Phil just, just be playing Xbox. <laughs> I love, I love seeing that. I really love seeing that him doing that because he's a gamer, man. He's head of Xbox, and he's a freaking gamer, bro. There's nobody on on the Sony side that works that's a head of that 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 plays video games. They don't even play video games. Those mm-hmm. guys don't play video games. Like right, the new guy, he don't play no damn video games. Yeah. Because yeah, that's not he the just to, he just did a run, brother. He don't play no games. I mean, if he gets his game plan in play, he might be able to, to salvage something, but yeah, I might yeah. Be, I think it's over. That's another thing, brother. I don't think those those guys in those suits on the Sony side even affiliate with gamers. They're just worried about making the buck. I think that's what it's all about. I mean, that, that's not surprising because that's all. That's that's actually how they are. I mean, that's not surprising to me. They've always kind mm-hmm. of been like that. But to be propped up, dude, by this by this uh, industry or at least the uh, media, but I have to see yeah. see Papa was disappearing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, these guys have. have that's another thing. Man. Gaming media could could disappear. You don't really need them, dude. You know? Nope. Because because these companies have learned like Xbox has, they just tr- they just pipe everything straight to you. And and I always say this, dude, you're getting the information straight from the horse's, horse's mouth. Why would I want to go to IGN or or kind of funny games to to hear stuff that I'm already getting from Microsoft directly? You know. Yeah. And that's why these guys got to make crap up when when they do their when they give their opinions and stuff because they gotta they gotta give something for all the people that hate Xbox out there and then to make themselves relevant. So yeah, I'm glad to see that they're gonna be gone. Um, Toolman says, "Hey, what's up? 
What's up, Tool Man, bro? Thanks for What's up, Tool Man, brother? What's up, brother? Brother so Tool Man? He was in the show this morning, bro. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, Tool Man's a diehard. And he, what I like about Tool Man and all those guys that support us, like Smitty Smith and all them, yeah. they're very, um, they're very, um, you know, game savvy. They know what they're talking about when they come in, in, in the chat and everything. And they have really good, you know, uh, just really good opinions about Xbox and about gaming, man. You know, and, and you know, they're just very knowledgeable. A lot of the brothers that come and hang out with us in, in our chats, they're very, very smart, very knowledgeable in, in, in gaming, bro. I know what they're talking about. They're just not coming in here just saying anything. They know what they're talking about, you know. Well, Mr. Kima dropped some knowledge on me. You know, there's a game that chose not to come to ID at X or um, to the Xbox platform. <clears throat> or the name of the game, but it, but the guy said they're gonna focus on PC and PlayStation. And uh, oh, Mr. really? Yeah, I can't remember the name of the game, but uh, then Mr. Kima, because I was, I didn't really care, but then Mr. Kima was in the chat and he dropped the, he dropped knowledge on me. Man, he goes, "Oh, the ID at Xbox sponsored like help them." And I was like, "Wow, yeah. that's Mr. Kima is another one." I follow him on Twitter. Yes, me too. On Instagram. So when anything pops up for Mr. Kima, I read it because he knows what he's talking about. Anything he bought puts out, he knows what he's talking about. You know, anything, uh, you know, about Unlimited, he knows what he's talking about. A lot of these guys, they know what they're talking about. Look, look what Unlimited put. Switch 2 won't be backwards compatible is anti-consumer. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Brother Sega Forever, I told you, man. Yeah, yeah. They're not going to do it. I mean, honestly, why should they, right? I mean, I'm, I'm not saying, again, I'm not saying I agree with them, but you yeah. basically allowed them to do this for years. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. So why yeah. would they change, man? So if you complain about it, dude, I'm sorry. I have no sympathy for you. You know? Yeah. Like, I remember saying that one time, and one guy says, well, you don't say anything about Xbox don't have no games. And I'm like, well, that's because Xbox has games. <laughs> it's not the same thing. Right, yeah. you know I mean? it's just like you, that's a false narrative. This is one hundred percent Nintendo right here. <laughs> this is what this is what they do. Yeah. And, and, and you're purchasing the way the way their fans purchase stuff or the consumers purchase for Nintendo. And I think I think I will be honest with you guys, dude. I think it's a lot of the Nintendo guys like that because, um, you know, like we talk about this a lot on these channels, right? These guys, most people are not gamers, so it fits their, their it fits their their idea and or their their gaming lifestyle, right? So you can buy a, you can buy a switch, but you're not gonna buy like every single game because you don't play that much, right? You just wait for the mm -hmm. games that come out or the popular ones that come out, then you play that, right? And have an mm -hmm. experience, and then you don't play games for like the rest of the year until the until the Christmas season, and then you gotta buy a game for a kid, and you see something you might like, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 gamers now. So when people talk about gaming has expanded, that doesn't mean that everybody's a gamer. Yeah, yeah. Yep. He's been crying about for like you know, and, and, and very warranted. You know, he, he bought like the Tom Cryer man. He's always he's always warning people, and he's been talking about this for years, dude, and, and telling people, mm -hmm. right? And, and now you see it. So again, he was right. Yep. So. Nobody wanted to listen. Everybody wanted to call him. Oh, you fat thing! You look like a woman. Your kids are this, or you know, you you this, you that. You're a freak. You're this. That's all they could say, because they knew he was right. They were they were just so uh, you know jealous, and then envy because when he would set the set the bar straight and prove them wrong, they went to call him. You're fat. You're this. You're kid. You're. That's all they ever did. That's all they ever did, man. That's how you know that you're right, and and then and then when it's the oh truth, yeah, they get so oh, yeah. you know, with their commentary, you know, you just can't disagree with them or tell them, oh, you're just an nope. you know, they go for the personal. Right. And, and once they go for the personals, you won. You, you they got to go to talk. Yeah, they got to go to talking about his family. Really? That's your rebuttal? Yeah. Talking yeah. about the man's family? Really? Yeah, that's why I can't wait for these guys to go away. Um, Unlimited put almost none of these, almost none of the games Xbox has been revealing since 2020 has been released. To say they aren't in a rush is it? <laughs> <laughs> is an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit of a <laughs> man. Unlimited did what a two-hour podcast, and he's still bringing. Yeah, man. 
Yeah, yeah that's, that, that's true, man. That's true, right there. Yeah, one hundred percent of it. And, and for me, that's kind of like a like that, that's just why I don't worry. Because if they, you know, if if they're fine <laughs> with this, right? And luckily, again, I say this all the time, right? They got they got the money to do this, but you know, if they're fine with it. Who am I? Right? I just I just skulk off in my corner and play my little um, I'll wait for you and Chronicles to come around or, or try and level up or, or try and find that next piece of uh, or, or get enough money to get so I can buy the next sword on <laughs> Tales of Arise <laughs> before I fight the next boss character. That is a that is a smartly made game, um, and, and and the way that they get you to buy stuff is smartly done. I will say that. They, they, they have oh, who um? Okay. Yeah. Unlimited said, I can't mess with Sony and Nintendo when they keep giving bare minimum. Yeah. Yeah, 100%, dude. You got every... Oh, honestly, dude, people are being honest, dude. You guys have everything that you need right here on the Xbox ecosystem. You don't have to go anywhere else. You might There might be a couple games that you might miss, you know, or might, you might want to play. Like I told everybody, I bought uh, my son for his birthday, I bought him Spider-Man 2 because he wanted it. So I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem. Right? You know. That's fine, but other than that, dude, for me personally, I don't have to go nowhere else. Dude, everything you better save it forever. Go ahead. I, I'll tell you something. This is really creepy, bro. Mm -hmm. My friend, uh, my friend I, I work with, he has an old, the old, play, he, he has the old PlayStation 1, and I was telling him about games, man. This is creepy. Check it out. Mm -hmm. There's this game called Viewpoint that was on the PlayStation 1. It was a kind of a good shoot 'em up, kind of reminds you of a Zaxxon or something. I was talking to him about about that on the phone, man, and that shit I'm I, on my computer popped up, and it says viewpoint for PlayStation One disc only must read. It's like they it's like they fucking know what you're talking about, man. This shit's fucking creepy, bro. Oh yeah, they're they're, they're all yeah they're all tuned into that stuff, dude. It, it, it's like that. I was on my phone. It pops up on my computer. This shit's fucking. That's how you know they're listening to you, man. They can li They listen. They fucking listen to you. I think they listen to you somehow. And then they'll put it on your computer. It'll pop up. Hey, you like uh, this or that Xbox? I'm like, what the fuck? I wasn't even home. I come home. It pops up on a computer. I'm like, what the hell? Well, just some point. On your social media, and you click on click on something you don't know what it is, and, and, yeah. and it's something like it's a um, it's a male male enhancement or male what do they call that longevity? You know the kind of stuff you take to make it yeah. last a long time as a male, right? And then did you 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 accidentally click on that, or or if you click on it for from just what well, you maybe you're curious and you want to know, right? And I'm saying like that, dude. Uh, yeah. Then you get inundated with that stuff, man. Like there's stuff I get inundated on my Twitter. Dude, I'm like, why am I getting this kind of stuff, dude? And if you, so I, I was just paying a little bit more attention to my inbox and my history. You know? Yeah. And plus, I, you know, I, I get training in this stuff like every single year. Dude, we talk about this stuff. You know, the, the one, my one saving grace for this stuff where I won't get hacked and I don't, uh, or on that level, you know, or I don't get my stuff is I'm just lazy. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's just like when I see something, I'm not the person that sits there. It's like, oh, who's emailing me? I'm not like that at all. If I don't know what it is, delete. Cause that's that's easier than opening it up and trying to figure what's going on. <laughs> so I've always kind of been like that. So that's my anti uh, antivirus thing. Um, look what unlimited put. I may have done a two hour podcast, but other uh, Zinga and Heba did most of the talking. Dude, the night we did that podcast, <laughs> if Zinga was on the screen, he would have, dude. Um, because of uh, I think uh, Re Realist and Dale was talking about PC. And Zinc was, dude, he was having a fit in the chat. Oh, was he? Oh, yeah, dude, he was. <laughs> I can understand their perspective. But, like, even for me, dude, look, I'm a console gamer through and through. I, yeah. I, I don't want to play on PC. There's certain games I can play on PC, but for the most part, I never use a keyboard and a mouse, so I have to have a controller. But even then, I just like the simple, complex, the simplicity of just having a console. Yeah, yeah. Unlimited said, I'd argue 90, 95 to 99 percent of games are on Xbox already. The six or so games that's only on PlayStation 5 means 
we're not missing out on much. Yeah, dude. And if and then the problem with a lot of the PS5 games, like I guess that Shogun game that's coming out, um, that everybody was talking about and stuff like that, people are not impressed by it. I can't remember. But people, you know, the PlayStation guys were all high on that. Other gamers are high on it. And I guess some videos, the people are looking at gameplay or video or something, and they're saying that it's not all that. It's all cracked up to be. And and when you're when you're in your company like Sony, and you have a console that 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 relies on these AAA banners, you know what I'm saying? And they don't deliver, dude. That's that's not good for you. It's not a good look. Nope, it isn't. You know? It isn't. And Xbox is going the actual opposite direction, right? Because they have so many games. Like even myself, dude. You know, we're old school, bro. We we used to like doing some dumpster diving on some games just to find a gem, but most of them aren't. But you do it because you know number one is cheap, but number two, you might find that one gem of a game. This is the this is the first time in gaming that I've seen it where Microsoft releases so much content, and over seventy five percent of that content is worth playing. You know? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, so so like that, that's that that's the level at which Microsoft is at with their content. You know, I'm, I mean across the board, from the indies all the way up to the AAA titles. You know, so hatch well, yeah, hatch yeah, one hundred percent. So did you? So what do you? So what's okay? So like I was telling you in the in the chat room, man, I didn't. I don't know. I'm kind of fell off at, by midweek. You know, like Tuesday. Is that stuff to do? So I, yeah. I, I was seeing stuff, but I was, I was on Twitter and I seen stuff slinging around about, but I'm not exactly sure about the PS5 Pro, right? PS5 Pro? Yeah. Yeah. So I know you've mentioned stuff to me. What is the gist of this thing? Why is everybody excited or not excited? Well, I'll tell you one thing, since we're pretty, pretty much into the show. Yeah. Digital Foundry came out and was talking about the PS5 Pro. And they were talking about it, D GTA Six, and they were and and what's really making them mad right now, brother Sega Forever, is Digital Foundry said that they don't believe the new PS5 Pro that's going to have more power is going to be able to run GTA Six, and that really made them pissed. Oh wow, really? Yep. Why? Why not? Did it say specifically? I don't know if it has to do with. The architecture of the PS5 Pro, or or whatever, but they actually came out and said that. And you know, they always turned it in for everything, everything. They used it. They used Digital uh, Foundry against us for years. But now that they're hearing this negative news about their so-called PS5 Pro, and that they said they don't think it'll be able to run GTA 6 properly, they're really pissed. Mm -hmm. They're pissed at uh, Digital Foundry now. You know, they're really mad because they came out and said that. <laughs> I, I guess they thought Digital Foundry wouldn't come out and, you know, say anything. But, yeah, they're pissed about that, brother. When, yeah. does, Grand, when does Grand Theft Auto come out? You know? Oh, man, I think that might. I don't know exactly. I don't want to say because I don't know. Oh, okay. That might still be a little ways off. I mean, I don't see that coming out anytime soon. Yeah, they but they're saying it. that they're saying they don't, they don't think it's going to run it right, and Digital Foundry could possibly be right about that. I mean, but they don't want to hear that shit. You know, they don't want to hear that from Digital Foundry. They want to hear praise, 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 praise. But when it's something negative, you know, they're ready to get out the porch, the uh, the pitchforks and and torches and stuff. You know what I mean? Dude, I wonder if they'll 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 uh, make it. Um compatible for that for that system you know what i'm saying just because it's playstation yeah but from everything that they talked about with the game but at least that i've heard and, and mind you guys i'm not a huge gta fan um the best one i, I the one i like the most was uh i played two and the one i like the most of was vice city yeah yeah but um you know i'm not a, i'm not a big uh, fan of the the franchise so i'm, 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 I'm not really I'm, either yeah brother sega forever i'm my favorite was San Andreas. I'm not I'm not oh. really a big Yeah, I like San Andreas. I'm not really a big huge fan of, of the GTAs. Now I do own them, but but um uh yeah, they're just I don't know. They're nah I they're I, I don't really get into them. Yeah. 
I've never really got into Big Brother. But that that whole Vice City thing was like, you know, I had the whole Miami Vice vibe and then the music I liked the most. And the characters were pretty cool. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. Man, dude. Because what I have been seeing is that, um, like, and I only see this because of the, the pony bots, right? They're like telling Microsoft they need to buy the rights, I guess, to Grand Theft Auto, you know? Mm-hmm. And whatever, you know, you can't allow Sony to have it because I guess it's not coming to PC. And I'm just sitting there looking at this stuff and I'm like, oh my gosh, guys. Now, maybe I am biased because I don't care about Grand Theft Auto on that level. I know it's a yeah. big game, though, so I got I to gotta, I, I gotta check my bias on that. But, you know, I, I was like, dude, with all the stuff that Microsoft's got coming on the pipe, dude, I, I have no, you know, again, I don't, like I said, guys, I'm not a GTA fan, so that, that, that factors in, but. Honestly, dude, like I guess we have to, I guess we got one of the Final Fantasies that came over. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe if people like it, right? So so the way I look at this stuff, man, is like, okay, well, variety, um, you want to appeal to more people outside of the um um outside of the norm of, of games that we normally play here on Xbox and stuff like that, whatever. But I I can't even see that anymore because we got so much there's such variety in the library that you can play on this console right now. It's mind blowing, dude. There's, there's not enough time in the day to play every single game. There isn't. There isn't. There really isn't. There's so many games to play in Game Pass, and a uh, thing that's great about Xbox is, man, you don't have to buy one freaking game. You don't have to buy one game or spend one cent of your money, except for getting a for subscription to a, a subscription to Ultimate Game Pass, bro. And you can just download and play all the games you want at no cost. You don't have to buy it. You can just download and play. Any game. If you're not into buying games or whatever, you can buy that subscription to Ultimate Game Pass and, and look what you have. Day and day exclusives, um, great games under uh, Bethesda, Zenimax, now Activision, Blizzard. I mean, you, you it's just a kid in a candy store when it comes to gaming with, with Xbox. It just is. And they, they hate to hear that, but it's the truth. They get ass heard about it because... Their console of choice is not doing what Xbox is doing. And they that's what they really want them to do. But they're not doing it. And if they aren't doing it, they're not doing it right. No, 100% agree with you. These, ah, man, these dudes are just too much, man. It's, it's, it's just amazes me. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. It's just, it's just these guys, dude. Just, just gaming in general, man. It's just totally. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I hate this. I hate, you know, I always say this, dude, and I'll keep on saying it, dude. If these guys were around when gaming was first, you know, coming into fruition, the industry would have died. That's how bad these guys are. Luckily, guys like us was the ones that was pushing this stuff forward. Yeah. Right? Um, bro- from- Brother Sega Forever, they want to keep waving that. 20, they want to keep waving that 2013 flag. Yeah. But that's, that's long gone. I mean, yeah, that ship is it's long, long gone. And they're trying to keep it alive by rehashing Xbox got no games. Um, now it's going to be the less powerful console because of the PS5. Pro. Like they're trying to regurgitate all this stuff from 2013 because they're so ass hurt about what Microsoft is doing, which is dominating gaming right now. Mm-hmm. And they hate it. Yeah, and, and they're gonna dominate in a way that they 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 will leave there will be no place to hide, dude. No, nope. um, if we're being honest, you know it's 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 like a it's like if you're a sinner, dude. It's the worst parts of the Bible. You know what I'm saying? They're, yeah, <laughs> it's 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 gonna be judgmental, right? And, and so that's I mean I realize that about Microsoft, dude. I mean I understand this is like something again. I'm just being honest with you guys, man. It's not the way I would play it. The way they're playing it is not the way I would play it. But you know, yeah. they don't care, because right? <laughs> and why would they? In a sense, right? I mean, they are a, a, a trillion dollar company, right? They they put their best foot forward on so many occasions, and they continue to do so. Don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. but like, I do not blame them for them taking the steps that they're doing because, you know, at the end of the day, man, they got to do what's right for the company, right? Yeah, now, yeah. Do with that or not, that's you don't want to be a part of that. Hundred percent respected, dude. Um, just do me a favor, dude. Don't cry about it every day on, on, on X. You know, kind of move on <laughs> with your life. Nobody. And let's, yeah, brother, second friend. Let's be honest. Let's say, 
let's say that's let's say that let's just play cosplay here. Let's say Microsoft Xbox was where Nintendo is, where nobody really bothers it, right? Let's say Nintendo was in Xbox's place and they were as big as Xbox with all these games, all these the these uh uh developers they have, all these uh these uh studios they bought. And let's say that Sony and 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 uh and, and Nintendo were in the fight like Xbox and, and PlayStation are. And let's say that Nintendo gave their games, some of their games, to PlayStation. I honestly believe in my in my true opinion that they would not be talking about and teasing about Nintendo games going to PlayStation. But they would do it so much to Xbox all the time. If it was the shoe was on the other foot and it was that way around, I believe they wouldn't do that. I believe they wouldn't taunt Nintendo players. I believe they wouldn't be in their comment sections when they do um, their own little podcasts and different things like that. And always spewing rhetoric about Nintendo. I just don't believe they would do that. I think they hate Microsoft so much. And that's why they do that. I will not, I do not believe they would ever do that to Nintendo. They never ever really bothered Nintendo about anything. It's always been Xbox, 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 like E Rock says. Always. I just believe if the shoe was only on, on the other foot, brother, and let's say those two were the big powerhouses, and let's say that Xbox was like in Nintendo's place, I think that. When they got games from Nintendo, like they wouldn't go, ah, we got your, we got your games now, nah, you know, uh, Nintendo's dead, N Nintendo bone, uh, Nintendo's gone, gone to uh, the wayside, they're gonna die, you know, it's gonna go away, and I just don't believe they would do that, man. They hate Xbox so much, just so so much, and I think it goes back to the old 360 days when they were whipping their ass. They were just whipping the PlayStation 3's ass. And I think they were really upset about that. I really believe they were really upset about that because this, the 360 was killing and whipping the PlayStation 3's ass. It just was. It was the darling system back then, and they were ass hurt even then because they wanted Sony to be the PlayStation 3 to be it like the PlayStation 2 was. They wanted the PlayStation 3 what, to have the status quo of the PlayStation 2. That's what they wanted for the PlayStation 3, but it didn't happen. They were too greedy. It was too expensive. It was hard to develop for. The Xbox 360 wasn't. The Xbox 360 killed, killed it in gaming. The only reason they came back, they came back at the end of that cycle. But you know that Sega forever. The 360 destroyed anything that was out there. It was the darling system for a long time. Long time. You know? Yeah, they never recover. They never recover from that. That yeah, I and yeah, they, I really believe that. Yeah, they they took that and focused it on the Xbox One when it launched in yep. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why I got so much hate, like unnecessary and just out of nowhere, just just blind hate. That's yeah, what the Xbox One in twenty thirteen, and that's all because of that. Yeah, I agree with you hundred percent. And in and fact, I, go ahead, I go ahead. This as well with the Nintendo Sony. the Nintendo yeah. Sony. It would be like you know in wrestling, when um when somebody like the Great Muda would would, would team up with team up with Macho Man, everybody would be yeah. happy, and then everybody would be yeah. both, okay. you know, <laughs> or it would hate Sting, right? So that's what would happen. They, they would they would celebrate like some kind of power move that Japan did with their companies, and and and, and it would it would turn on it, it would somehow find a way to be Xbox Xbox's fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I think uh -huh. that's crazy, man. I think that's crazy, man. No. I just think that's that's I just I just think that's crazy, man. I I really do. And I don't know why. I never know the mythology of I just go by my own little theories. And you know, sometimes people will agree with me. Some people might be like, oh, I don't know, you know, uh I don't know Sega Man, but you know, but I just that's my theory on that. I just think they wanted Sony to stay. They just wanted Sony to stay dominant in, in everything and just destroy everything. And when you go up against a giant like Microsoft, it's not going to happen. See, this is the thing. They don't. They don't understand that. You know, they don't. They just forget that. 
Microsoft has money for 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 centuries. Sony doesn't. They can't compete with Microsoft. They never could. They never could, man. They can't. They're a software giant. You can't. What are you going to do to a software giant? Come on, man. You can't do nothing to a software giant. You can't. If 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 Xbox really wanted to, you know the Sega Forever. If they were hardcore, they could have Sony could have been gone a long time ago. They could have put them out of business a long time ago. No, and I, they and really could have. I really think they should have. Yeah. Not to deal with all this trash. Yep. That's detrimental for gaming in general, not just Xbox, but just gaming in general. With this, with these guys, um, I'm still existing. So that's the one thing I don't like that Microsoft has not done. Yeah. They could have took them out years ago, but they allowed them. You know what? Yeah. You know what's bad about about them as a staff and a company, Sony? You have to have your comp your competition help you. Mm. You have to have co your own competition that you're gone against actually help get you out of a rut by giving you games and and doing certain things for you as your servers, trying to help you do stuff. Aren't you embarrassed about? If I was a company, I would be embarrassed that. The, the the ones that we I'm going up against have to actually help me stay afloat. That's a that's embarrassing. It really is, man. People might hate that I say that, and they might they might get pissed, but that's embarrassing, bro. They shouldn't have to help Sony do anything. They should know business. They're a business. Sony's a business. It's a company, you know. And Microsoft should not have to help them do shit. They should already know. They've been out here longer. They've been out here for a long time with Walkmans, uh, 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 TVs, electronics, appliances. They've been out here for a long time. You should know business. You shouldn't have to have Microsoft help your ass stay afloat. That's embarrassing, man. Uh, you know, myself, they, there's times I ask myself why Microsoft does that. Yeah. You know, because it doesn't make sense to me. If I'm being honest, I mean, maybe it's to, I don't know. Maybe it is to, to make more, I don't know, make more money. I don't know, but it just, I just, I don't think Microsoft should have to help them do anything. Hmm. That's ridiculous, man. They should be able to do it themselves. Microsoft shouldn't have to help them get out of a rut. It's embarrassing. I would be embarrassed, man. I honestly would, as a, if it was my company, and I know that Microsoft had to help me. That would be embarrassing, bro. Embarrassing. I'm that's, sorry. That's the only thing that that makes me think about stuff that that's going on with Xbox, like those those kind of questions, you know. But other than that, dude, I just stick with my game, and man, I'm I'm straight. And yeah. It's amazing. The again, um, the rest of you know, like like anything else, dude. They'll announce what games are dropping, but as the month goes on. There's games that just get dropped just out of the blue or mid in mid month, and I remember what was it November? I forgot what month it was last year. They dropped the game almost like every week. Yeah, and um, and, and that's a that's a great problem to have, you know. And again, yeah. I encourage Microsoft don't not to overcorrect with all this kind of stuff because, you know, it, it's you know the dollar is important to a lot of people right now. So, they, they, it is still the best deal in gaming, and you can tell because people still. When they talk about Game Pass, they talk about it in terms of, you know, oh, uh, here's the free games coming to, you know, Xbox Game Pass. I'm like, no, it's not free, dude. Don't say that. It, it's a service. Right? Yeah. But that's credit to Microsoft. That's people feel like they're getting it for free. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't like them to go with that narrative just for the simple fact that if they raise it, right, then then it'll be, you know, the sky is falling <laughs> kind of stuff. Because you know? everybody has a limit that they're willing to spend. And the trick for Microsoft is to make sure, or Xbox is to make sure um, they, they're able to gauge what that limit is. You know, they're, they're not Netflix yet, where Netflix can just raise the price on everything. Um, you know, as, as we stand now. So, but I don't know, dude. I mean, if I, like we were talking about the Sony situation, you know, I. At this point in time, dude, I'm just it's just a matter of time, right? Like we were saying earlier, Sigma. I think it is just a matter of time. And um, when that day happens, 
you know, yeah. it, would be, it would be a great day because uh, then the industry can move on as a whole, in my per my personal opinion. But yeah, and then you have people say, uh, well, why do you want PlayStation to go away? Why do you want Xbox to go away? <laughs> <That's good. laughs> you know, why do you want Xbox to go away? Then they get they get all salty and they get like, you know, all like, well, why do you want why do you want it to go away? But I mean, you guys don't practice what you preach. You guys want Xbox to go away so freaking bad mm -hmm. because you want Sony to dominate. That's what that's all about. You just want Sony to dominate everything and to take over everything, and that's not gonna happen. This is a big melting pot where everybody can 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 make money and and enjoy making games for whatever they bring out without this toxicity and all this bullshit but they don't do it you know what i mean they want sony to be the end all be all well it's going to be the end all be all of sony because of the road that they took and what they chose to do you 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 showed your true identity also when microsoft tried to play nice with you about Activision Blizzard, and look at how it, they, it went through the media. You got dragged through the media because all you wanted to do was ruin, try to ruin Microsoft of getting Activision Blizzard. Mm -hmm. That's all they were there for is to try to ruin them and try to stop them from getting it. They weren't worried about sharing the games, signing a contract, you know, for Call of Duty. They were just worried about trying to, to stop Microsoft from getting Activision and Blizzard. That's all they that's all they were out there to do. They didn't want they didn't care about nothing else, dude. Nothing else. And they should and people looked at that and said, Man, Sony's really like very low for this. Yeah, they just yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> made them look bad, made dude lose his job. Yeah, yeah. You know, people out there were saying that, you know, we need competition. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay, we need competition. Um, but if Sony goes the way I do, people will wonder who will fill that void. Fill that void. It'll be Microsoft to fill that void. Oh and yeah. This is how this is how big Microsoft is. This is the the, the state of, of the uh, of the Xbox brand that they have so many studios. And yeah. the fact that um, they'll push the industry forward, that can easily fill the void. You don't need Sony. Yeah. Yeah. Because a lot of people push back on me and when I talk about stuff like that, and say, well, you know, we need competition because uh, prices, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, dude, we have competition now. Sony has raised everything. Sony sets that industry standard that everybody tends to follow for whatever reason, right? And I'm sitting here going, okay, so they, they, they don't. They're not good for yeah. competition. They're anti-consumer. Yeah. So, yeah. they, so, they, so they need to disappear. Like, I would, there's no sense in them being here. They don't have provide. Even if, I, I don't, uh, again, Full disclosure, I don't like them anyway. If they disappear, they'll be fine with me. But yeah, yeah, I'm having a debate with somebody and we're talking about this. Even the stuff that you use, that you weaponize to use against me, Sony doesn't yeah. do that now anyway. <laughs> nope, I know. Right. So there's no point in having them around if if, if they don't even fill out that role, right? All all they're doing is they're holding us back, they're slowing us back, slowing us down, right? Both creatively and technically. Right. Yeah. Go, hey, I'm telling you guys, dude, uh, unless you're a brand loyalist, nobody will miss these dudes. Yeah. And if people be like, oh, what can I play now? Then maybe they will finally go to Game Pass and discover the games we have on this side and then realize how much better it is over here. Yep. And we, we, I mean, we're living proof that we support online gaming. I mean, they try to make the narrative, uh, well, well, Xbox doesn't have any, uh, they doesn't. They don't have any story-driven games. Um, Halo, um, Gears of War, um, just to name a couple. Uh, Fable. Uh, I mean, we have a. There's a lot of story uh, story-driven games that are on um, Xbox. Okay, every every game doesn't have to be just story. I mean, with our games, we got story-driven games. Plus, we got multiplayer after that which keeps the game longevity going on which validates the value of your buck yeah, that's so it was you know so it was good for you to spend 60 bucks right on gears or or forza or um or halo because there's a multiplayer 
after that it keeps it going see a thieves there's a multiplayer it keeps mm -hmm. it going so i mean you're getting your money's worth you're not just beating the game and putting it away why would you want to buy all kind of games for like 80 dollars, which we're going to go up to or 70 dollars, and you beat the game and that's it you know there's no multiplayer there's no online where you could play with your friends your 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 family your wife your girlfriend whatever the games that Microsoft brings out has longevity. It's worth the value of your buck. Yeah, Look at Sea of Thieves point. today. Yeah. Look at Sea of Thieves today. I bought it physically. I bought it. I did. I got it. I got a deal on it a long time ago at GameStop. I found, I caught a deal on Sea of Thieves, so I bought it physically. Now I look at it. It's blowing up like hotcakes. It's it's it just keeps it's the gift that keeps on giving. Can you say that about any other Sony games? Is there any Sony games that have much longevity as Sea of Thieves? Absolutely not. There's not one game that has the longevity of Gears, Forza, Halo on PlayStation. There isn't. Name one. There isn't. The only game they play on there that they're enjoying is a third-party game, which is Call of Duty. That's it. And it's not even their in-house game. It's from Activision. It's not even their game. It's kind of a shame to have a third-party game on your system that's supposed to be greatness awaits and and <laughs> and just the end-all, be-all of games. And you, meanwhile, it's a third-party game that's running and keeping you afloat. That's embarrassing. It's not God of War. It's definitely not Spider-Man. It's 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 Call of Duty. Hmm. Dude, that's it's, and then they hate they hate that too. When you say that stuff, oh man, they hate they hate to hear that because they know it's the truth, brother Sega Forever. Mm -hmm. It's not their games. It's Call of Duty that's keeping them alive. Yeah, Ridiculous. That AKB thing was so so instrumental. Once people once that all that stuff got exposed, I think it was a great thing. Right? Yeah. For the people that don't keep up with this stuff right it was such a big deal that it opened everybody's eyes and then of yeah. course sony, sony themselves by their actions supported yeah all of, you know all of this oh yeah exposed so but that's a great excellent point dude i mean i i think that's why i've been struggling with a lot of the games that play on xbox because you, you you don't just put them away you know you could play them for for years um, yeah all the games that are and even on game pass right now there's a lot of games on that service um, yeah because I like to play these type of games, and this is one of my problems. Um, because there's stuff in this games that I can do, and it's redundant to some people. But for me, I absolutely love it. But I'm playing like Valheim and Coral yeah. Island, and these are kind yeah. of same games, right? Yeah. Um, and you can con you can you can get lost in these worlds, you know, and 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 be fine with it, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah, dude. I mean, uh, trust me. If if you know Sony, when your festival goes away. They will not be missed. Maybe some nostalgia yeah. here and there, but when you look at their fan base, dude, they just they're just rabid, and all they care about is the console war. You know what I mean? Yep. For yeah. them, it's not even about the gaming anymore. You know? That's why and they're, and they're toxic, man. So of all the times that I don't agree with Microsoft with their with their um, their use of the word toxic, <laughs> right, or what they deem toxic and not toxic, um, this is one of those times where I wish we could get on board on the same thing because if you want to get rid of toxicity. Um, if you want to get rid of toxicity in gaming, it, 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 it begins with the ponies. Not to get rid yeah. of them, you need to get rid of them. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and then and then and then Sony got to understand the kind of uh, community that you let be go out of you know go out of control like that, and not even coming out and addressing mm -hmm. the uh, the you know the Sony uh, gaming community. Not saying nothing about nothing they do. You just let them keep doing it. Help you for your fall and your demise of your company. Because it, it, it helped to destroy them. They helped to destroy the company that they love so much. That has greatness awake games. That has the most consoles sold. And, and you know, uh, it, it, there's nothing that's more superior than PlayStation. They helped destroy the company that they love so much. They helped put the, the coffin... The nail in the coffin, the last nail in the coffin for Sony, they helped do that. 
they helped do that because of all this shit that they did for years. <laughs> Since 2013 with this Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Because that's when it really was super bad and toxic, man. It was really, really bad when you had people like he bought out there defending with his big Xbox shield, defending Xbox, trying to get him kicked off of social media, talking about his family, getting him banned from, uh, was it Facebook or one of them? You know, just different things that happened in the past that I'll, I'll never forget about. That asshole... Uh, Alex Escobar, whatever the hell his name is, uh, you know, making him scream to the top of his lungs, you know, when they were trying, he was trying to have a conversation with him about games and trying to understand Xbox and had he bought screaming like I've never heard he bought ever scream the way I heard him scream and yell at that guy. You know what I mean? It was bad. He was saying, I'll get my son to kick your fucking ass. And he was just saying all this derogatory stuff to he bought. That was fucking terrible, Sega Forever. And I don't mean to cuss. It was bad. I watched the whole thing. I watched the whole thing live. And it was terrible how he was so disrespectful to Hebot. I mean, it was bad, man. I've never heard Hebot yell the way he yelled like that, ever. That was terrible, dude. That was a terrible show to watch. But I watched it. The guy was a he was a hypocrite, man. He was a he was a uh he was an idiot. You know, he would put pictures up of kids that had Down syndrome and that were deformed and, you know, make in front of it while he's talking about gaming. And they let him do that on the channel. They have, they have no respect for themselves and others. Anything to get views and clicks and shits and giggles, they would do stuff like that, man. It was terrible, bro. It was bad. That's how bad it got. They didn't care. As long as they got the views, they didn't give a shit. They didn't care. It was bad, man. I mean, that's but that's that's the mo too, right? Um, huh? That's 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 the modus operandi, and it's always been that way. Though, granted, I agree with you that it's gotten even. You know, it's, it's it went next level. Definitely putting kids up. Yeah, brother, see fair. Putting kids up that have disabilities and they're deformed looking, and you're making in front of them while you're talking about games. That's the lowest of the low. And I think he's been reported for. I think people actually reported him for doing that. Right. That was bad, man. And I think it was on Z's channel. And Z knows better than that. Z really knows better than that. I mean, let's just cut through the bullshit and forget about the gaming. Z should know that as a man that he should have not let him do something like that. Yeah, that's why I stopped following him, dude. I even talked to him. Because I used to talk to him. I'm very disappointed in him. He should have never let that guy do that. You know what it is, dude? A lot of this stuff, but especially on uh, YouTube within the Xbox community, a lot of egos. You know what I mean? Egos is a yeah. big thing. So, and yeah. you, know, you know, somebody like Kiva, dude, if you can't, you know, most people won't be able to compete with him on the knowledge yeah. level. Right? No, or, no, no. And no. knowledge is just one problem, right? Tr trying out speaking would be a problem as well. Um, yeah. You know, so, so when you can't do that, right? You know, again, like we talked about earlier, dude, you have to go, you have to, you have to hit low. Right, and that's all they yeah. can do. Yeah, yeah. And I feel for you know I feel for our, our brother man because he he's he's been through some stuff. Oh yeah, they really tried to, they really tried to really exile him. They really did. They tried their best to try to get rid of Hebot because they knew Hebot. That's why they that's why they got his his uh, I think it was his Facebook ban because they couldn't stand that uh, Hebot was destroying them when it came to gaming knowledge and going up against Hebot versus. Xbox versus PlayStation, hmm. he bought always won those battles always, and that would go to result to getting him banned, calling him names, putting up memes of him and his kids and his wife because they can't battle him, and that's the only way they can try to get at him is make in front of his family. Really, that's all you got? You got to go make in front of somebody's family? Is that how low you got to stoop because you lost? Because he bought put you to shame. That's it. I mean, that's terrible to go to have to result to doing that. They did it to me. Oh, you live in a house with slanted roof and sleeping pissy sheets because I would praise Xbox and love Xbox and talk about Xbox. Is that what they talk said? about my kids? You know, different things like that. I got some of that. Oh yeah, I did. I got some of that back in the day. I did. Okay. 
you know, I, I think it's uh, you know, I feel for I feel for uh, Hebot because it's one thing to get it from the ponies, right? But then you also got it from his from his own side, and, and that's what I mean. Oh, too. oh yeah, yeah. So when I look at that, you know, that's a double whammy, dude. It, you know, it, it hits you a little bit more when it's on your own side. And yeah. That you called friend or people that um, you know, they knew that they, you know they put you up, and then other people didn't like that, and then you got kind of your back got turned on. You know, they turned their back on you, stuff like that, dude. That, but but I try and you know, like to my brother, man. I mean, that just tells like how good you are. You should just yeah. wear that badge of honor. You know what I mean? That means people can't compete. When, when people do that, they can't compete with you or they're jealous of you. And yeah. That's not a good feeling, but, you know, in, in hindsight, man, that you should you should be at least happy about that much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Also, oh, yeah. He's, 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 he's weathered the, the uh, he's, he's stood the test of time because <laughs> all these other days are gone. Yeah. He did. He really did. He really, uh, he really did. He did stand a test of time, and he he he, he stuck with what he, he what he said, what he believed, everything. Yeah. I mean, he just you know, and they would they, they couldn't they could not battle him. Man, they could they tried their best. I would watch some of those back in the day. I would watch some of those when he bought would, uh, you know, uh, be going against somebody. You know, uh, Xbox versus PlayStation. They just could not beating and couldn't battle and he does it with uh, the thing about he bought the killer thing i think what he bought i think it's the killer <laughs> thing he does is he does it with eloquence he's not screaming he's not yelling you stupid like he's not saying you stupid fucking pony bot dumb motherfucker like he's not talking he does it with eloquence he does it in a nice calm voice and uh, it, like uh, like presenting himself very very nice gentleman like destroying them their narratives of of x of xbox and they hate that they hate that they hate that with a passion because he's always calm and cool about it he's not a hothead and i think that's one of the things that they hated because he wouldn't go off i think they wanted him to go off and like lose his cool mm -hmm. try to lose his uh chain of thought when it comes to xbox and he never did, and they hated that Sega Forever because he never gave in to that shit. He always was calm and cool about it. Yeah, dude, and, and that's a, that's a, again that's a testament to him. Yeah. You know, every time, but like a lot of those things, like you know, for, like some of the stuff you have to watch, man. And not even like 10, 15 minutes in, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's yeah. not as it last. <clears throat> well, you know, Sega Forever, like you said. His own people did that to him. Yeah. His own people. When he when he had the podcast with the the um the Latino brothers, it was good at first. It it was, but they started getting like I mean, I would listen to them all the time. This is before I think even he bought even he he even knew me. I would listen to those guys because they were they were Xbox podcasts and um they would always interrupt them and talk over them. And I'm like, can you let he bought talk you guys are you say something or your opinion and then when it's time for he bought to say something you guys talk like kaleidoscope and you talk over him i don't have nothing i don't have nothing against kaleidoscope or none of those guys because you know they had their own uh, their own opinions about things but they would always interrupt them and be ignorant to him i'm like why are you why are you being ignorant to your own brother what are you doing let him talk i mean the problem they would never let him talk the problem is you can have your own opinion, but you know, yeah, they were wrong. They were wrong. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they were. Wrong, they would man. never let him talk. They would try to talk over him. But he bought. But he bought. But he yo. But I'm like, man, can I hear what he wants to say? I listen to you guys. Let's just hear what he has to say. Let him do his opinion. They never let him finish his opinion. They would always speak over him all the time. I hated that shit. I hated defense that man. Defense mechanism, right? Huh? Defense mechanism. Yeah. That's 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 a that's a classic defense mechanism. If you if you if you can't, because <clears throat> a lot of times, like I said, they would speak on things, and they might know. Like I said, they might have an opinion. They might know part of the uh, part of uh, what the truth, but not the you know. They might know part of what they're talking about, but not the whole thing. Yeah. That's yeah. Because kind of, you know, like if you, you learned that dude, when you when you we, we've been on enough shows that he bought. Mm -hmm. Understand, right? That when he says stuff, dude, there's there, you're gonna get a full volume. Yeah, right? man. Right? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's why. I mean, I, that's miss- why you know, that's why I don't. I tend not to. I would rather uh, when when it comes to people like like Heba, and not just Heba. I just I'd say this is. I think it's a life lesson in general. Dude. If you have somebody that that knows more than you, you know, mm-hmm. think, but if you just you know be quiet and listen first. And then that's what ends up happening. These guys ended up looking bad, and they would get mad at him, and it wasn't even his fault. You know, it's, it's yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, uh, well, you hear what Toolman says. I think he, I think he heard us say when I was telling um, me and you were talking about that guy Alex Escobar and yeah, yeah. showing those kids when he said it's that that's a bunch of bull crap, the lowest of the low, despicable behavior of Sega Man and Sega Forever. That that's what I mean. I mean. I don't know if I mean he was a young kid. That dude that did that, he was young and he didn't care. But when you do stuff like that, Z didn't realize doing stuff like that could have got his channel fucking banned. If somebody really wanted to, they could have got that channel banned by doing like they could have wrote a perfect thing on that with them showing kids with disabilities stuff like could have possibly got his damn channel banned. People don't think they don't think about that Sega forever. They don't. They don't think about that. You doing shit like that can get your channel banned. Z did enough stuff on his own to get his channel banned. <laughs> yeah, he did. He really did. He did. And you know, back in the day when he was a no, you remember when he was Xbox dude, right? Uh-huh. See, he see, Z should know better than this because when he was an Xbox dude, they made in front of him and his daughter. Remember? They would oh, yeah. They would say stuff about his daughter. So, Z, if you're listening, you should know better than that, Z. You should know better than that to have that dude on your channel and do stuff like that when you know good and damn well that they used to do, try to talk about you and your daughter, which I was really, I used to, back in the day, I was upset about that when he was, I was like, man, that's some fucked up shit talking about the man's daughter. We're talking about gaming here, not his, not Z's daughter. You know, they were terrible with that, man. Because he likes Xbox. Yeah, a lot of us, you know, supported him. Yeah. A lot, a whole hell of a lot of us. Crap and all them. Mooch, all them dudes. So I found out what what Mooch was really about. Then I stopped supporting him. (laughs) That dude is... Man, I don't even want to tell you, Sega Forever. That dude is... Oh, I know. I know. Man. I've heard... I've heard the degree fine. I think the weirdest one, God bless her heart, dude. The weirdest one was I used to talk to Titanfall Princess. You know that, right? Right, right, right. I used to lib- deliberately talk to her on Xbox. Uh, she would talk to me for a long time. We'd play Killer Instinct. She'd whip my ass, too. She was a good. Uh... One thing I got to say about her, Sega Forever, uh, mm-hmm. Nancy, Titanfall Princess was a very, very good. Uh, fighter of fighting game she was she was kicking my ass she was really she had skills bro she had skills her, her game was street fighter on playstation 4 but when we were playing killer instinct on xbox she was whipping my ass i didn't win one round she is that good i have to say that she is a good gamer i will give her that she she can game with some fighting games you know what i mean but uh she used to always try to convince me, oh, Sega, man, you should really come over to the, to the PlayStation and and be with the play. I'm like, Nancy, I don't play uh, Titanfall. I don't, I'm not, I'm not a PlayStation dude like that. I miss cool, you know, and stuff, but I'm just not, I don't want to, I don't want a PlayStation 4. I don't want to get one. I'm just not into, into the PlayStation. We should, she would say, you should really, you should really consider it. I'm like, nah, I'm not, nah, I'm good. I'm good with my Xbox One. I'm not getting a damn PlayStation Four, man. We could play. We could play uh, Killer Instinct. I'm not. I'm not buying a PlayStation. You know. She was on the cover, man. She yeah, she was. I don't know what ever happened to her, but you know, she's another one. Let's keep it real. She's another one. They ran her. They ran her through the dirt. They did. They ran her through the dirt. There was all kind of stuff that came out about her, which was fucked up and disrespectful. Because she's a woman. I don't care if you don't like her. She's still a woman. Be respectful. And they were very disrespectful towards her by certain things that came out that a lot of people seen, which was terrible, which was so disrespectful to do to a woman. I don't care if you don't like her or not. She's still a woman. You should have respect for her because she's a woman. And the shit they did to her was messed up. 
You know, it, it's a it's a messy thing back then, Sega Forever. It was bad, man. I'm like, damn, man. I remember. You should kind of tell, though. I mean, at least I could. There's a lot of times when people would, you know, yeah. you could know who was there, you know, who was real, who wasn't. And then, yeah. You could pick up on uh, ulterior motives of what people wanted to, why they were a part of the community. And, yeah. And it's sad because we did have it at, at one point in time, man. It was pretty tight. But, uh, you know, th these are not those, these are not those times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was bad, bro. I mean, I it, it's kind of bad now with certain things, but back then, psh, man, look at what they did to, we don't need to regurgitate all the time, but look what they did to Graphic God. Graphic God really went above and beyond to help those guys have a, a morning gaming channel and they fucking screwed him. You know what I mean? I mean, they, they, there's just some bad stuff that they did, man. Bad stuff. The guy spent hours blood sweat and tears to, to to make that show what it was free gamer pick all kind of stuff and then they then and then they they uh screwed him over bad you know and that's not right if somebody does something for you bro pay them properly don't try to pay him with games and shit and not pay 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 the man for his work <laughs> like, like it's the dark ages and stuff like that Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, we'll get you some games, man. We'll get you some free game. How about some game, dude? I want money. I I help build your channel. I gave you shit for free. Give me my money, man. I don't want no damn games. I'll buy my own games. I know. Pay me. <laughs> they went back. They went old school, man. Barter system. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what they did. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what they did. And shame on them for doing that. The one dude, you know, who I'm talking about. He had Buku money. He he's rich. He got money, and you're going and you want to pay him in games? Really? You got money, dude. You got money. You're not. You're not gonna. It's not gonna hurt you. You're not gonna lose nothing by paying him money. You got money. You have a good job. You have a business or whatever. You want to pay him in games? Meanwhile, you got money like that. That's very disrespectful. A, they were they were so disrespectful to that dude, man. Very well, disrespectful. Cinnamon, can you uh, continue, man? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tap out just for a second. Go ahead, yeah. man. Go ahead. But yeah, guys, I mean, you know, Tool Man, everybody listening back, back in those days, man, it was just a, just a lot of unbelievable stuff, man. That 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 happened, that happened back in those days, guys. Some of you were there. I know some of you were there, but man, it was bad, man. Over video games. I mean, some of that stuff would just, <laughs> it was just unbelievable what the, some of the, the things they would do to just get views and, 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 and subscribers and things. It was terrible, man. At the end of the day, it just was bad what they tried to do to people, man. I'll never forget those days, man. Those are messed up days, man. I think yeah, that's one of the reasons why I wouldn't mind if, like, the. I'm sorry, I'm back. Um, no, go ahead. Why I wouldn't mind if uh, the Normies kind of came over. You know what I mean? I've given various yeah. reasons, but that's another one. Right? It'll yeah. just, just, like, dilute everything. Right? Yeah. And so, um, you know, so then we can sit back and just enjoy. Like Unlimited was saying on one of his podcasts, you know, Unlimited talked about it. He's like, you know, he'd love to just do a podcast where we just talk about. You know, games that we're playing, or, you know, good news about, yeah, about the game, you know, more positive. Yeah. And I, I have no problem with that, dude, because I think we're living in a to be honest with you, man, we're living in a renaissance of gaming, you know, yeah. I mean, I feel like a redux, dude, just like we went back in time. The only thing yep. is that there's more variety, more games, more, more ways to play them, um, yeah, more options, more choices. I do. I do. One. My one. Uh, my one little gripe I have is, uh, I want to get past uh, beyond the eight bit era. You know, I understand yeah. they do that as, as like a tribute, and the games are more solid, of course. I mean, because of the technology we have. But I would like them to kind of graduate that graphics. It's one thing to play tribute to it because I'm having a hard time seeing eight bit in eight bit nowadays. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I guess it's just my eyes are changing. You know, they're not as strong as they used to be. 
So it gives me a headache because I got to focus on certain things and I get lost sometimes yeah. on the stages, you know, but I, I do appreciate that style. And so hopefully people will take it, take it, uh, take it next level pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like I'm just thinking about some of the games that I want to play, like Sea of, sea of Stars. I never even got yeah. a chance to play that. I played like the opening and then uh, I figured out what happened. I took my son somewhere and I just never got back to it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, stuff. there's just so much content. That, that we could be, that we could be playing. That we don't, we don't need any other thing. Again, I, I don't care about games skipping out to To me, that's terrible. Yeah. You know, you know that, that that all that tells me is like, you don't want my money? Okay, fine. Because I need to, I need to, the water bill. It used to be, my water bill used to be ninety bucks. Now the thing's like one seven. So. Yeah. <laughs> so you stay over there. You can come over here when you're like a doing. When you come over here. You get dropped in Game Pass with a fifty percent off of four ninety nine. Special. So, yeah, brother. So you know, again, to you guys, man. This is a, a new format for the channel. It's in the own one. Yes, yes. And for those of you guys who uh, who know that I like uh, My Hero Academia, you can offer one. <laughs> I kind of I kind of took it from there, but and theme of the way my channel is the title of my channel. Um, but you know, I, I will start doing these so that I can talk to you guys like Sega Man. I'm supposed to do one with Dea. Um, and specifically, we're actually going to talk about uh, PC. Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah. And, but this this format I have, it'll just be me and the featured guests, which is today. Uh, is Sega Man, thank you for joining, bro. Appreciate it. Oh, man, no problem. No did problem, have, man. I just. Did you have anything that you wanted to speak about specifically? Um, like what's going on in gaming? Well, because like I, don't I said, know, man, it, it just it just seems like you know, like but I think the big talk though, you know, about the the physical digital media thing we've we've talked about, um, <clears throat> just just the the stupidness that that it just it's so laughable. It's like we're in this dream that we can't wake out of the way these, the way they act, man, when it comes to video games, it's just unbelievable. As long as I've been in the video games, I've never seen nothing like this in my life, dude. I mean, this is nuts the way they act when it comes to a, 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 a damn company that just wants to have their own, you know, their own platform, their own games and want to contribute to gaming and you want them to die and go away constantly <laughs> you know true gamers <laughs> <coughs> right <laughs> it's ridiculous bro it's real bad it's it's i'm like man then you wonder why people want Sony to go away because of the stuff you say microsoft they're a company that just wanted to get into gaming they weren't trying to kill anybody they weren't trying to take anybody o- anybody over they wanted to just get into the gaming field and <clears throat> contribute to gaming, and you want them to go away and die. It's ridiculous, man. Really yeah. ridiculous. I think, um, I think you, you know, like we talked about a little earlier, dude, I think the chickens are coming on the roost. Most definitely. Yeah. They painted themselves yeah. into a corner, and, and they have nobody to blame but themselves and their fans. Um, because you know they're the ones that put themselves in this position. Yeah. So no sympathy for me. You know what I mean. Um, and, I, and again, I'm, I'm glad when they're gonna move on because this the thing that I don't like, dude, is like they just had GDC, right? And there was so much. Thank you. There was so much. Um, can you turn in the kitchen or the kitchen light? Yeah. There is so much um, stuff that should be head- highlighted or headlined. And of course, I mean, it's like you, 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 the one great thing about it, you don't have to kind of go out of the way, but this is what the industry should be focusing on, mm-hmm. like tremendously, like the games, right? But because yeah. there's an affiliation with um, Xbox, right? <laughs> I feel like, okay, this is why you won't see um, them talk about this stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. They, uh, I don't know, man. They just, like you said, I said, uh, 
this is the end. This might be the end for them, man. I, I'm, I mean, I'm a gamer at the end of the day. I don't, I mean, yeah, I don't want to see people go to go away, but they caused this, man. I, you're not going to get no sympathy from me either. You, you guys caused this, man. It's your own fault, man. It, it really is. There ain't nobody going to, you know, ain't nobody going to throw you a bone, man. It's, you know, they let it go on. That's the thing is they let it go on. If you wouldn't have let it go on and address your community, things could maybe be a little bit different. But no. You just let them keep doing it. And look what happened. Look where we're at today. And then the one company that was willing to take stand their hand, you just, you just, you just slapped it away, you know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you need to go. It's time for you to. Get, you guys have been in this space too long. Time for you to move on. And Hebot's been saying that for a long time. Oh yeah. I've they been were doing it that thing. thing. Because yeah. I, I, that was more out of uh, out of. Uh, I just hated it. <laughs> But now, legitimately, if you look across the board, yeah, there's really no reason to have Sony around. <laughs> I mean, what are they giving? Yeah, yeah. remakes. Like, yeah, remakes, higher cost. Yep. That's powerful hardware. <laughs> and then the thing is, is some of these guys go out there and buy it. We're supporting the devs. We're supporting the devs. You supported the devs the first time you bought it, ding a ding a lane. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, okay. They might have put a fresh coat of paint on it or something, but you're basically paying for the same thing over again. Look, they'll say, Well, Sega Man, look at you. You're a hypocrite. You got Gears of War Ultimate. Okay, let me break that down for you. Gears of War Ultimate added boards that were not in the original game. It added the board with the brew mock where you have to fight the brew mock. There were other boards that they added in there that were on the PC that was not on the 360 version. So it's a lot of content that they added to it, plus 4K, plus I think 60 frames per second. They added all kind of stuff to it and brought it out. It wasn't the, it wasn't the exact same game with just it had stuff that was cut out of it because they didn't have the time to do it. Order 360, I guess, might not have been able to run it at the time that was on the PC version of uh, Mortal Kombat Ultimate. So, no, that's a legit way, I think, you know, mm -hmm. to bring back a game. And, and, you know, and I only paid like 25 or something. I think it was original 30 or 35 or something like that. But, uh, that's the one that was worth buying Sega Forever because it added stuff that wasn't in the original one that you would have played on the 360. New board to play, a couple new boards to play, things that didn't make it into the finishing cut of Gears. So it was definitely worth the money buying it. You know? Well. Sorry. But that's the thing, right? Again, yeah, yeah. This is this is something that no, this is not our. You know, the one great thing about Microsoft getting a lot of heat is that they can't do stuff that Sony does, right? Because they're going to get destroyed by ponies, and they're going to get destroyed by the media. So the great thing for us on the Xbox side is we know they got you. You know, we know they're going to bring their best because they want to bring their best, right? They're kind of tuned that way. Right, but also because of the pressure that they, you know, the heat that they would get from the gaming media and from the industry as a whole. Like they even tried to pull stuff that Sony pulls, you know. So in a sense, you know, we don't have to worry about that <laughs> on the Xbox side. Whereas, you, like you were saying earlier, you let Sony get away with stuff for so long. Well, like Nintendo, like I'm talking about with Nintendo. You know, I wouldn't like like you were saying, like a five hundred dollars Switch too. Why not? You know, <laughs> the switch is the is the the switch is. Did you know that the switch is the greatest selling console of all time? <laughs> That's what people keep on telling me. So why wouldn't they charge five hundred dollars? You know, put your money where your mouth is. I would I would I would roll the dice because they could always lower the price, right? They don't have to. 
they could run that risk, in my opinion. Because they do have games that people that their fans like, so why not? Hmm. Realist is in. It's almost there. Oh yeah, see, Realist is another one. Hey Sega Man, are you still there? Oh, Sega Man, if you can hear me, um can't hear you. I think it might be your mic. Or you might have lost connection with Sega Man, guys. It's almost there. The price is what made it sell so well, though. Yeah. Well, I just think it's like, um, you know, it's, it's, it's yeah, they did, they just came out at the right time. Yeah, realist, man. We can't wait for Sony to go under. That's what me and Sigma were talking about. Mm hmm. <clears throat> he's in a crash out. No, you know what I think he is. I think he's having issues with his mic. We've been on for quite a while, so I'll probably wrap it up. But I wanted to do this one on one, you know, because you know we when we do the podcast, the wrecking crew, it's late. So you know, thank thank you, my brother, for jumping in and hanging with us. But I really wanted him to get his bars off because he never really got a chance to talk. And even though the topic was different, you know, you wanted to talk about the stuff tonight. I'm fine with that. Sega man, are you there? I hear something, but I can't hear you. What's that? Oh, there you are. Where yeah, you I'm talking? here. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure. Yep, I'm here, man. I was looking at something on the the um the uh the uh, TV real quick, but. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Sega Forever Brother, that's all I, you know, I had to I had to talk about, man. Just uh I don't know where we're going from here, man. We'll see. We'll see with these what's gonna be coming up. You know, oh, man. Are you, but uh, are you are you positive about the year to twenty twenty four? Yeah, I am. I am for us for uh Xbox, yeah, I'm positive. Yeah, I'm positive. But, I mean, we have a lot of great games coming. We that's the thing. See, we we concentrate on uh playing our games, seeing what's coming out. We got it. We got a uh, I think unlimited. Was it unlimited that said we got a a show coming up in June, I believe. Mm -hmm. You know, and different things and in in Microsoft, if you think about it with Xbox, we have more shows than any of those other companies combined. You know, we do more things. You know, they do more things for us than any of those companies combined. Right. So I think it's going to be really good. And, yes, I don't care about that that PlayStation 5 Pro. And they're going to try to, you know, like upset people and say stupid shit, you know, yeah. and, and stuff. That's a given. We know that's coming. But they know, but they also know what's coming around the corner, and that's big bad Microsoft with the most powerful console yet again to stomp you back down to your place. You know, they're just doing this refresh. I don't know why, but they're doing it right now, and I just it's gonna it's gonna blow up in their face, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, I'm all for that. So a lot of people, a lot of people, a hey, brother Sega Forever, there's a lot of people that don't even have a PlayStation 5. Right. They're still playing on their PS4. They can't afford it. They don't even have one, bro. But yet you're going to bring out a PlayStation 5 Pro when they don't even have your first one yet? Man. Dude, you know, you know, the, uh, you know, the media is going to be simple for them hard. What's that? You know the media is going to be simping for them hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're going to be saying all kind of stuff, Brother Sega Forever. They mm -hmm. are. They're going to be saying all kind of stuff to try to. And then you'll have these weak guys out here that want to get vi vi views and clicks. Well, I don't know about the Xbox now <laughs> uh, with this new PlayStation 5 Pro. And, yeah, I mean, psh, man. Same old, same old. Yeah. Same old, same old, uh, brother. Well, what do you think, though, uh, Sega, for, uh, Sega Forever, my brother? How are you? How do you feel about uh, 2024, man? 
Oh, I'm big up, man. Big ups, bro. Big ups. Yeah. Just on games alone. Not mentioning yeah. all the other stuff we got. Games alone yeah. is untouchable. And, and and some of the games, I know like how Matt Booty said there's 10 games coming out. That doesn't necessarily have to be 2024. But he just mentioned some of them. And it's like, what, five, at least five, four or five games we're going to get. Yeah. Yeah. So yep. I, um, I mean, that, that's good. Plus, you get these surprise drops that go in there from indie games and different places like that and different things. I mean, I the great thing about uh, what's happened since um, because we have Game Pass and all this stuff is that it uh, reminded me of how I used to be as a gamer when I was younger. Yeah, so I'm following a lot of these guys like Five Hundred Five Games now and Focus Entertainment. Uh, the other place, Nacron, we did the Robocop game. You know, I'm actually like old school. I'm just like I'm old school me, where I'm actually following the, the creators and the developers and the publishers like they used to do back in the day. And that's because a lot of these guys, I only learned from them because of Game Pass, really, honestly. You know what I mean? Because you play their games. I was like, man, this game is really good. You know, and then you see that, you know, you do a quick search and then you see that they have a lot of content. And that's one of the purposes of Game Pass, man, is just like it'll get you to get interested in their stuff. And then if you notice, they've been doing their own showcases. And so then when their game drops, you're there. You're day one. You're there day one. And you're like, oh, yeah, I like I like these other games they did. It's, it's, it's a game that looks interesting to me, so I just buy it. So that's just one aspect on top of all the stuff that the studios will be dropping. I think we have new controllers coming out. I don't know. I've been trying to keep up. It's been hard. But 2024 is huge. I know we lost momentum because, uh, you know, they're just killing it. And that four games released, the four games thing kind of killed that momentum. But if you just ignore that and look at what we got, what we got now, you know, when I'm done here, dude, I want to go play that mech game that I've been wanting to play. So we're not hurting. But um, real quick, brother, realist said Apple or Amazon will buy them before they go away. Oh, you're talking about um, Sony? Realist? Yeah. I can see that happening. No, it's not Amazon. Not that I care for the well-being of Sony, but you know, Amazon's just on my crap list. <laughs> mm. Let me see. Yeah, so, hey, Sigma, do you want to wrap it up? We can wrap it up. Um. Yeah, I think so, man. What about uh? I, I what about you? Done too? You think this is it? I mean, if you got stuff, this yeah, you got any more? I mean. This, this, this is this is all you, bro. No, man. I think I think uh, I think going ahead, going forward, uh, that uh, we're gonna have a great rest of the 2024. I think we're gonna get some surprises again when they have the June event. I think Phil Spencer might drop a few bombshells. That's just my opinion, and I I just think we got a lot to look forward to, man. Uh, with Xbox, I think we're on the right track, man. You know, I think that people just they spend too much time listening to people on social media so much that it scares them out of things like, you know, well, that's a sign of weakness. You know, you're going to go sell your, 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 uh, X Hox because you hear a little bit of, uh, green envy and stuff that turned out out actually not to be true. You know what I mean? And just that, that's, that's really just how the community shows you how some people are in the community Sega forever. They just, they're so weak. They're very weak. When it comes to certain things, man, it's terrible. Anytime that you saw a receipt and do something like that, I'm always you're suspect to me. So, oh yeah, yeah, but yeah, brother. Uh, going forward, I think we got a lot to look forward to. A lot of great games to play, and just create more conversations for our podcast, man. So yeah, I think people should just worry worry about getting those great games over here for Xbox, man. And hey, it's time to get some gaming and time to play some gaming, you know, instead of always complaining all the time or being afraid of your own damn shadow, pick up a controller, <laughs> play some games, man. You know? Yeah, I can agree with that, dude. Yeah, man. Good. yeah. Yeah, but let me yeah, know, dude, when you want to play Dead Island too. 
You okay? Yeah, I will let you know, man. What are you uh what are you doing tomorrow? Um you gotta do stuff? Oh church this Sunday, yeah. Hey, what time you at church? Dude. Well, I used to joke with my friends when I was younger. Cause I I'm a Baptist. Yeah. So Sundays was booked, man, all day. Wow. <laughs> yeah. All then, day, huh? Dude. Because you have like the morning service, right? You have Sunday school. Then you have the yeah. morning service. Then you have the mid-morning service. Then depending on what you do in the church, you, you might stay after. Yeah. Um, and then people go out to eat, right, after church. And then you go home. You you take the bath. You know, you get you get ready. Because then you got to come back yeah. for the Sunday night service. So. You come back for what? The Sunday night service. Oh, wow. Yeah, man. But the church I go to now is not like that at all. Maybe because I was in the South when I was, I mean, well, I don't yeah. know. I, my grandmother raised me, man. Like, we used to be in the church all the time. So what? Nothing wrong with that. You should mm -hmm. go to church. No, bro. But I mean, we lived at the church. Yeah. Like, you had my, like, you had, um, like, you've done the choir, did you? Yeah, choir practice. When I got older, we had teen faith. Um, yeah. You had presentation, right? Where you, where you go out and you, you have to preach the gospel to people. And um, Wednesday night, we had a service. Teen Faith was Tuesday, and then um, man, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I spent a lot of time in church, which was all, which I was fine with, dude. I mean, that, that didn't bother me. But man, like nowadays, dude, you, you, you a church service run, <laughs> church service goes two hours long, man. People be like, "What's going on?" You know, <laughs> you see the head start turning in the church, and be like, <laughs> I, guess, "I guess the I guess the spirit not moving them today. <laughs> they they're ready to go home." <laughs> but I mean. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we got, we got, yeah, but just to set me up, what time do I play? Yeah, uh, that'll be cool. Uh, you know, uh, well, I guess, yeah, our time differences are, are where, but yeah, I do want to play, play with you, uh, Dead Island, too, man, because, um, um, there's this part I can't, I can't get past. I might have to reinstall it, too. I could play it in a cloud, but, uh, yeah, man, um, it's a good game. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the AI, they're smarter now. They'll they'll mess you up. That's why I'm used to, to other zombie games I like to play where you just shred them. Not this game, dude. You gotta take your you gotta take your um stamina into consideration. Your weapons break. What character? Like I picked a character that I like, but she's probably not the best character that I should be playing with. Not that she's bad, but just the way I play in general. Yeah. Because like, sometimes I'll be getting hemmed up and I'm like I said, well, yeah, I can't play that way. I got to move. <laughs> yeah. Usually, I usually tend to go for the for the tanks when I play these kind of games. Because I don't want to worry about my health. I just want to wade into stuff. But yeah, you're right. And I have to say, dude, it's a very polished game. You can tell they put a lot into it. I'm going to go buy it uh, just to support them. Uh, but you can tell them, man, they put that work in there. You know what I mean? It's definitely more than Dead Island, the first Dead Island. I mean, it, it, they 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 did their they did their, it was an upgrade, man, definitely uh, across the board. In my opinion, some people that play the original might not like this one because it's harder. It's not harder, but you know what I mean. It's it's just different. You gotta you gotta think about stuff you that that, that you're gonna do, your attacks and stuff like that. You just can't go willy nilly on it. And that's how I like some of my zombie games. So yeah, dude, let's do it, man. About time we play something. Did you ever play with Dale? Did you guys ever hook up on Gears? Oh, Sega Man, are you there? Hey, Sega Man. Oh, man, I might have lost him. <clears throat> Just to let you guys know, man, Sega Man's all the way in Pennsylvania. And I'm all the way on a rock in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. So, you know, this is, this is, uh, yeah, it's, it's cool, man. Like, you want to do stuff with Hebot, you guys can tell, right? The, the connection sometimes. We don't connect, but I appreciate my brothers doing that. Hey, Sega Man, are you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, we might have got disconnected. Um, but no worries, man. Uh, but uh, just hit me up tomorrow, Sega Man, and then uh, we can play. Realist, man, thanks for being in here. Toolman55, appreciate it. My brother, Eva, no worries, brother. We'll do. Well, I'll do a one-on-one -on -one with you, man. I'll dial you up, and then we can do that. Cloud, man, thanks for being here, brother. I really appreciate it. Um, it was always good to have, like, the chat be on fire. Um, 
I don't want to forget anybody. He was, and then unlimited, of course. Unlimited, man. I'll, I'll watch your podcast. I won't be able to do it tonight, but I'll definitely do it tomorrow. Sorry, I didn't know about it. Um, but I'm not used to you doing a podcast, your own podcast on Saturdays. But I feel you, bro. I know you got stuff to say. And I know you're not as, as jacked in into the, um, especially on the social media front now, but I know you keep up with stuff. And it'd be good to have your stuff back, man. I, I miss your show. But definitely, man. Uh, I got you on uh, alert, dude, on my thing. So when you, when you pop off on I should get it. I wasn't looking at YouTube at all. I was doing other stuff. And then I was trying to uh, get in contact with Sega Man to run the show. But yeah, guys, let's check out of here, man. Uh, Sega, for, uh, Sega Forever, my boy Sega Man. Uh, Sega Man, dude, uh, if you hear me, I'm just gonna, uh, we're going to out- outro. And then um, hit me up tomorrow, bro. Let's play. If not Dead Island 2, we can play whatever, man. I haven't played Gears with you. How about that? I'm not good at it, but you know, you could, you could save me. You could carry me, right? Anyway, guys, and Fire uh, Realist, thanks for being here, dude. I really appreciate it. Um, we'll see what happens with this. I like this comment. We'll see, man. Anything to get to pony tears, I'll be happy about. Um, also, Realist, man, I started that podcast. I'll be doing it starting next week, Saturday. I went solo on the podcast this morning just to give people a feel of what I'm doing <clears throat> with the podcast, the direction it's going to go. And I'm not saying the guests have to do that, but um, what I'm saying is that uh, that's the format. So, you know, prepare yourself. <laughs> accordingly that some people might not like it but um, anyway xbox online channel and also from a boy sega man uh sega forever uh we out